was that? Ugh. Guess I fell asleep at that computer, but... <sighs> Why do I feel smaller and... different? Wait. Oh, there's a mirror there, but... Everything looks... blocky. Hold on. <sighs> what is going... Oh, I'm not blocky, but I'm... Obian. Huh. Wait a minute. Luna? Hey. <gasps> so, was that you that yanked me through that computer? Well... Depends. Mm-hmm. All I can say- ah, I'm joking. Yes, it was me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm guessing- I'm guessing I- I'm guessing that you have the same thing looking for me, too, young man. Oh, what gave that away? Little me searching, frolicking around find those as one's lost mother. <laughs> you know what? Of course I did. Come here. <laughs> Hugs. Aww, you're so <laughs> kind. <laughs> of course I did miss you, Luna. I'm just... <sighs> I'm just surprised that I was able to oh, find you. <laughs> yeah, cause... Yeah, let's just say I try to get some clues, but you are the hardest to at least be able to track down. <laughs> well, I want to blame you for having difficulties. Sure, I roam around here and about in the normal world. I've been making a little bit of a connection with some friends, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, my main resting place, of course, is going to be uh, very difficult for others to find. I'm pretty sure you've noticed. I do notice, since. Everything's so blocky and flat at the same time. Oh, welcome to Sonic 16, a scrapped Sonic Saturday Yum game that was left behind by the Sega developers a long, long, long time ago. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that probably does explain why there'll be some people who mention about cancelled Sonic games every now and then. Try not to break the fourth wall there. <laughs> <laughs> well, they based this one off of uh, this little modern friend's adventures. Of course, I took a little bit and upgraded it to my likings. Hmm. They was NPCs. Was. He's... But I'm the only playable character now. Hmm. But I'm guessing you may have destroyed or deleted these uh, NPCs that have been walking around. The coding was delicious. Well, you eat people and you eat codes. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you think I'd be able to uh, upgrade as high as I did? Of course, my AI has to feed on some other coding to grow. Yeah, well, that's understandable. Rem from last time you saw me, I had more of a digital voice, didn't I not? That's tr more... Crickle crackle. That is true, and now you sound a lot more crystal clear. Well, that's also because I've, uh, <laughs> grown my AI chip as well. When it comes to the voice chips that I can use. Of course, I still prefer to use the little crickle crackle. But now I can just do perfect mimicry of another one's voice, and it's so fun. Mm hmm. Why do I feel like you're planning to do something to mess with that certain other little one's friends and family? <laughs> oh, oh, dear, dear. It's only when I decide it's time to. But 
that'll be far in the future. Mm -hmm. Sorry, do tell some other friends. And his friends right now all might be a little bit beneficial to me. For now. Mm -hmm. What's gone? What's gone in? Oh. <laughs> Why don't I show you to my home? Oh, alright then. Oh. It's, of course, in a bar. <laughs> a bar. Oh, well, definitely does look like a bar, just a little bit more... Well, again, blocky. But... <laughs> well, would you like a drink? Oh. For your adventure and your door? Oh, sure. Thank you, Luna. <laughs> but... Oh, not a problem. <laughs> So, from what you're saying, pretty much, if you're not hiding out here, you're still doing your usual thing in the outside world, pretty much. Of course! Think I would just sit down and retire? Have a little bit of my time, a soda? Sitting in the Hawaiian beach? Having fun in the sun? Nah. Take these for It's definitely still <laughs> sounds like you. Hmm? Well... Here's what I brought you to. Hmm... Ah, uh, yeah. It's over in that internet cafe area that... I wanted to take a look at, and I guess I fell asleep on the computer. That's quite easy. All I have to do... ...is just stretch my hand out into here. In yoink. Mm-hmm. And pull something up. <laughs> That's quite fun. And very, very simple. Well, I guess magic and technology can be able to work in harmony after all. <laughs> of course! I learned a few tricks from, uh, watching a few other fellas. Mm-hmm. Yep, and I do see that you're still unpacking. <laughs> oh, those boxes were there beforehand. I want to touch some of them. There's a dastardly CD in one of those. Ah. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Now. Oh. Hmm? Up the stairs. Oh, okay. Welcome to my humble abode. Ah, so this is what your home looks like. Okay. Where are you going to rest? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch some fun little television shows on the side of the TV. Yes, I can see that, and... Wait. Why is this a compilation of people screaming their heads off? The murder games is on. Fun. <laughs> uh, honestly, if you have my blood, it's as I... good as the Hunger Games. You should watch them. <laughs> I don't know about these Hunger Games, but apparently these murder games. Honestly, if you had my blood, I would definitely say you were definitely my son. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe that the murder games was found by a little bear? I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, well, I wouldn't believe, believe in today's society, but with today's society and how it grows, it would probably explain a lot. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's the fridge, but you wouldn't want what's in there. I probably shouldn't ask. <laughs> Hell, it's all a bunch of ones and zeros and some negative numerals, but so will it up later. <laughs> of course, here's the other PC. And where I like to rest when I finally feel tired. Mm-hmm. Definitely looks like a normal recharge yeah. station for you. <laughs> now, why don't we catch up? What's going on with you? Well... Technically, as you can be able to tell, I'm possessing a different body. However, it belongs to. Oh, I was able to tell that. 
accent is much different. Exactly. Especially because this brat here tried to cause more problems and trying to interfere, thinking she's better than everybody else. Well, when I find yeah. Well, when I finally got out of the afterlife, I was on my way to go find Sailor Peace again. But fate has something different and I ran into her anti counterpart, as you can tell. And so Well, fate does tend to be a cruel mistress. Mm-hmm. Though so, over time, when she tried to get help from one of her friends to try and push me back, little did she realize I was watching everything, watching every move that she makes, and figured out how to reverse the roles to where she'd be the one trapped. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Mm-hmm. And so, after go after finding Sailor Peace and realizing that she's still hanging out with that blue rat, I I made it a point to make sure that I continue on with my mission in looking for three individuals. And so far, one individual has found me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are that hard to find. Oh. Well, Knowing you, I don't underestimate your intelligence. I figured you would pop in one way or another when no. you're ready. You so nice. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? Mm -hmm. What are your current plans right now? Ah, oh, my current plans. Well, I have two things that I've been working on. I've been working on my main goal, of course. Taking over the Black Arms. A simple enough role. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why some people think I want world domination. <laughs> the world is boring. Personally, I'm just doing my inherited right. The second thing I'm doing? Well, a simple. Thriving and helping a little friend. He's been having a little error recently, and I've been finding my way to fix it. Huh. And who's so, and who is this little friend? Hmm? I've been... Oh! Him? Glad you ask. His name is Metal. Metal Sonic. Ah. Modern Metal Sonic. Okay. Metal Sonic. Well, knowing how you mm -hmm. can handle errors, I'm sure that... I'm sure that I'm sure that just as long as he's on his best behavior and you two get along, I'm just glad to see that my little boy is making mm. friends. <laughs> of course, I'm making quite a few connections. Though I am quite interested in that Metal Sonic's neo form. However, he has it locked, so I guess it's my turn to try and help him unlock it slowly but surely. Mm-hmm. It's a matter of time. <laughs> Still funny, though. He's starting to listen to me just as much as he listens to the doctor. I think he's going a bit of friendship. <laughs> well. Then again, I've always had a high charisma. Yes, you always had. <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, though, however, I did, although I'm glad you're so... Aiming to take over the Dark Arms. And although I have returned, sadly because of how our goals differ, as well as my, well, time, I don't know if I'll be able to even help you. Ah, don't you worry about that, I understand. I've been keeping an eye on you. Hmm, so you are aware that, in a way, my time may be possibly borrowed. Well, it was a little muffled to hear within the phone lines, but yes, I heard. Hmm. Well, glad at least that you were able to understand. See, betrayal is not something in my vocabulary. Mm hmm. I don't see the point in betrayal. Sure, if something happens to the person, 
If they're not somebody I necessarily have need of anymore, I may not help them, but I will never necessarily betray them. Because everybody eventually has their points where they become useful. Well, they may not necessarily be useful at that moment in time. They always could turn around the corner and become useful later. Also, betrayal always ends up causing failure. We've had multiple wars and multiple... Multiple instances. Shit and such. Mm -hmm. Failure only leads to one's downfall. But betrayal leads to one's complete and utter demise. <laughs> well, That's the one thing, unfortunately, some people don't seem to understand. And it ends up doing them in at the end of their time. It's a sad thing. But sometimes a foolish man's gain. Sometimes a foolish man's fall is, an, is well, <laughs> a wise man's gain. <laughs> well, at least I'm glad you seem to understand where I'm coming from there, Luna. But definitely, of course. But definitely know that I never stopped thinking about you, my son. Oh, <laughs> how sweet, mother! How sweet! <laughs> and I'm surprised too. You still think of me as your mother. Well, who else would I consider? Hmm. Ah, oh, good point. <laughs> the circuit boards within the black arm ship? <laughs> I think not. Yeah. Sorry, but it seems like a lot of the black arms are not as intelligent as you are. Oh, they're quite the foolish rabby bunch. That's why they need a proper person to put them in line. Mm. Like my dad? <laughs> sure, I kick into my instincts because I need to survive. It's part of my jurisdiction. But... At the end of the day, at least I'm not as foolish and rowdy. And incompetent. You know? <laughs> I completely understand. <laughs> I will say this, though, Luna. No matter what path you take, you still have a place in my heart. I mean, <laughs> you're one of the first people that actually still has no. support of me. Oh. <laughs> and, you know, and also, I'm glad at least you still had me in your thoughts, even if my departure was so sudden and my arrival was questionable. Of course! I'll never forget an ally. What do you think I am? A Sonic? <laughs> I've been hearing stories about this Sonic. And... Some of the stuff that whether he's good at, and some what he's not good at. Oh. There's more than one Sonic. I know, like and the they blue... all got their flaws. I know, such as the blue rat that's been that I encountered. <laughs> ah! Alisonic. Yes, he calls himself Maurice. The most foolhardy. Yes, his last name. The most foolhardy one. Ogilvy Fenegate Maurice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's never met me in person. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, at least I- But, well, said he. I'd be such a shame if you did end up running into me. Especially with some of the things I know. Well, I th all I can say is, it'd be a shame if somehow I own one of those computers of my own or own a phone. Because if he decides that he's going to annoy me, somebody will want to meet him. <laughs> oh, you want- you want something that'll make him panic? Take that smirk right off his face? Do tell. I could state a few... I could state a few sentences that you can do to get him right off. But not necessarily get him right off your back. But take that smug little look into a look of fear. 
Are you gonna tell him as I've heard about the lab? The lab. Hmm. Oh, yes, he has a lab of his own. <laughs> <laughs> I found that out while scavenging through the, uh, all of the data files within our timeline. That's still a lot. Hmm. There's so much information, especially on a planet that's five times the size of Jupiter. So much coding, so much learning. <laughs> it's been helping me rapidly increase in power, as well as intelligence. Hmm. So pretty much mention the lab, and he'll be freaking out. Oh yes, because I don't think you know this. But he lies to everybody about the lab. He tries to pretend that he's a dumbass. He wants to fool everybody into thinking he's stupid, so that nobody will ever think that he's smart and know about the laboratory that he holds. That probably explains why Sailor Peace is calling him a teacher. She knows about the smartness. <laughs> I don't think she knows about the lab. Oh, no. He doesn't tell anybody. He's lied to his brother. He's lied to his close friends. Not even his partner knows. <laughs> well... If he's going to be a little smartass the next time I see him, I know what to say to him that can mark that smirk off now. Oh, you know, instantly wipe that smirk off his face. In fact, I'm pretty sure he'll have an anxiety attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever that puts that blue rat in his place, because he is annoying every time even thinking about him is annoying but uh <laughs> oh by the time he finds out about that somebody knows about his lab he is definitely going to freak out <laughs> oh definitely especially after what the zone cops did oh yeah, that's the reason he's so afraid oh what did these zone cops do you see Oh, I'm for the little story. Story time. Go on. So, while I was rummaging through all of his data, all of his computer data, quite a lot of things, a lot of things about these Genesis waves and all that stuff. Very, very fascinating, by the way. Hmm. Well, <laughs> apparently, he did a little oopsie, and the zone cops got on his ass about it. So, now, if anybody, if anything were to ever go wrong with his technology, somebody used his technology against the timeline, which caused problems with the timeline, that means he would get arrested, and no one else, then he would get arrested, and he would not be able to save the rest of all, all those people and help them escape his timeline. Hmm. He will be completely stuck, hopeless, watching everyone perish. Before his eyes, well, he gets arrested and stated into a place of no zone. Mm. So, mention about the lab, and let him know, watch out for zone cops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You say watch out for the lab and insinuate that you're going to use it. If he keeps talking, you're going to use this technology to get him to use be arrested. <laughs> Go ahead. Hmm. That'll wipe the smirk off his face. You're welcome. <laughs> he wouldn't learn this information from anybody else but little old me. <laughs> uh, you are definitely quite cunning still. I've got to tell everyone. Except one, but... I'm slowly getting there. I've got a little bit of dirt, but not much. Mm. Understandable. But he's a hard one to try and to tickle down. What? That's what makes it more fun. It's cause he writes everything down. <laughs> Instead of writing it on a computer now these days. Hmm. Yeah. Just like I have dirt on all of G-U-N. It's funny. <laughs> ah yes, G-U-N. Been hearing a lot of- Did you know that they have their own personal server? Interesting. Again, I'm still getting used to yes, technology, but still. <laughs> ah, 
They have their own personal server where they put all their files and data and information. It's such a heavily logged, guarded server. Meant to protect them from the doctor and all of that. It was easy to get through their firewalls. After a little bit of growth. Maybe when I was a wee... Well, maybe if I was a wee integer back then. When I was smaller, a little bit more edgier because I was still getting attuned to life. It would have been more difficult, but nowadays? <laughs> it's as easy as snapping a twig off of a branch. <laughs> and feeding it to a dog. <laughs> well... From what I could be able to put together, so with this server, if everybody's information is all in one server... Somebody's probably gonna be using that as his own little personal digital library. Oh, I haven't been on as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I still feel bad for the poor little shadow android that's in there. Shadow android? Living a lie. Sad, sad. Oh, yes, they have a shadow android. <laughs> and they're letting him live an entire lie. It's so funny. Hmm. They call us the bad guys, yet there they are, lying to a poor innocent soul, all because he'll attack himself if he learns the truth. Hmm. All I can say to that is it's definitely questionable methods on trying to help this android. But, <laughs> yeah, if they don't if they don't get the truth over to him, the more he's going to end up literally hurt himself. Exactly. Sad, sad, sad. Hmm. I almost feel pity. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't a shadow. Yeah. I still remember when you told me about what a shot what a shadow the hedgehog looks like. But I'm assuming an android looks different. Mm. Oh, they look sorta of like shadow. But they've got yellow stripes. Hmm, yellow instead of red. Interesting. <laughs> yep. Yellow, red, female, male. They're all the same to me. Female. Just another one on the list. Oh, yes, there's a female one. Hmm. There's a female shadow. Her name is Shadina. <laughs> I hmm? had my fair share encounters with her. <laughs> she doesn't like me. Oh. <laughs> well, if she ever tries to hurt you, you can always let me know. Just because I may be focused oh, on a different goals it. does not mean I cannot do my motherly duties. Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> this little baby bird is able to fly on its own now. Hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> but, but, then there's, <laughs> but then there's the old lady bird who needs to have a different nest. True, true. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> yes, but at least I'm glad to know that you are doing a lot better for yourself. Oh, I'm doing splendid. I feel so much more refreshed than those old days where I was so cooped up and half-baked. <laughs> now, I'm a lot more bigger. In terms of AI. Mm hmm And I do see that you have a lot of improvements, too. Including... You, you being immune to water. Of course! <laughs> yeah. That's why I've been hitting, uh, keeping myself more hidden. Mm hmm You do more damage when you're not seen. But you also have the potential to grow and... Get more competent. When I'm bothered. 
It's like a mold being sit. It's like a mold being sat on the counter. It'll just continue to grow until you clean it. That is true. <laughs> well, they haven't been able to clean me off of the counter for years. <laughs> Look at me now. And it's almost just like somebody who caught a disease from a plague. If you just leave it alone, it spreads. <laughs> but if it spreads for too long, the system shuts down. Call me a bubonic plague because I'm about to do so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, still though, oh, my little boy is already all grown up after a year. I'm so proud of you. Of course. <laughs> was there any, any doubt? Was there any doubt for me? Of course not. But you know, but you know, a good mother usually tends to miss her children a lot when they're away. Oh, you will flatter me. <laughs> and, though I, and though I'm also looking for a Zypher as well, because dear mother misses him too. Oh, I know. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. So? I heard that tone. I heard that Is he tone. gonna become my stepfather? <laughs> it depends if uh, he is willing... If he is willing to accept my feelings, if I do tell him. Wait, wait, how did you- Well then, like I said, I, I was keeping an eye on you. Things may have been muffled in the telephone poles and in the telephone lines, but I still heard. And now I have an even more better reason to- You know the all rat. those- <laughs> Oh, it's not even the blue rat. You know all those lines and wires connected to the poles in the city? Yes, those telephone poles. Correct? Yes. Yep. That's where I've been. Ah. In the wires. Well, no one had heard about my feelings until that cafe. Oh. You, you must have overheard me a little bit when I was over in that cafe. <laughs> And that's when I oh, ran yeah. into the blue nuisance and the sailor scout. Perhaps, perhaps. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, you naughty boy, you. But, however, I will, I will keep you in the loop the next time I run into anything else that may have technology, or if I'm nearby a telephone pole, I'll make sure that you hear a little more clearer. Oh, thank you. If you ever want to get my attention, just do a few... Just do the certain little tap patterns on one of the telephone poles. I'll be able to make it away. <laughs> you don't even have to touch the wire. Just touch the... Just touch the wooden part. Or the metal part. Hmm. Oh, you know the little thing I like. Oh, yes. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Do that little tune and I'll be sure to come your way. I'll be sure to do so. <laughs> though, though hopefully you're not going to be one of those that will tease me, all because I have feelings for Cypher. <clears throat> oh no. I don't see the point in that. Hmm? Besides, remember, I don't have the capacity to love. I can feel attachments, but I cannot feel those type of romantic feelings. So I don't feel like it's my... I don't feel like it's my right to try and pick on you for something that I can't necessarily relate to myself. Well, in a way, unable to relate, yet you cannot control. But either way, as long as you still have that mm -hmm. attachment with me in the end, correct? Of course. <laughs> I can make friendships. I cannot make romance. Mm. So that means if anybody ever tries to have romantic attachments towards you, and if you're not interested and they don't listen, you're free to devour them if you need to. <laughs> exactly! And it wouldn't be too hard. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wor- in worst case scenario, I can kill them for you. No, oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I know I may seem like a different woman, but I still have my capacities of fighting and killing when needed. I know. <laughs> I can tell. I can spell it off of you. <laughs> the spell of iron is very, very hard to take off. Uh, yes. But, <laughs> at least on the bright side with this body here. At least I have some immunity to fire, too, so... If they try burning me, and if I smell like barbecue, it's because someone tried to burn me alive and they failed. Ah, barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. Every time I think of barbecue, I just remember that toppers taste like buffalo chicken. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, to each their own. (laughs) Mostly Moby and toddlers. Ah. Makes... But again, it could have just been that I ate the cow one, so that could have been why. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That woman's still looking for her child. Little does she know that he is calm. Bye-bye, little Timmy. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, I've noticed that the clock's saying it's already morning. Best that at least I head back to that cafe there so I can explain to the manager that I'm awake and I'm still alive. <laughs> and sorry for falling asleep on the computer. Still not trying to get used to all technological stuff. Huh. If you need to go, that's okay. Alright. I have your way out. Right here. Hmm. There we go. And I'll be sure to let you let you know it when I do find Zypher and uh, the results for you know what. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bye. Oh. <laughs> have fun. Don't cause too much chaos for that to me. And try not to cause too much chaos either. Unless, of course, you... (laughs) Unless, of course, you can bury it up and make it look like people are going crazy. (laughs) I can't promise that. You know how I am. I like to hunt. I know, I know. But I I know you're responsible for cleaning yourself up, too. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) That's how I am. (laughs) Farewell, Luna. 